Hey everyone, welcome to Marvel Medicine. This next part is part two on respiratory physiology. Now, with expiration, the diaphragm just relaxes and moves back up. That causes the intrapleural pressure to become less negative. So more on the positive side, but not positive. What does that do to the lungs? The big negative vacuum effect lessens and the lungs don't want to stretch out as much anymore. So they shrink and contract back. That also contracts the alveoli inside the lung. When they contract, the pressure inside the alveoli becomes positive and the air then goes from the alveoli to the trachea out of the mouth. So the concept they love testing you on US only step one is about pneumothorax. Let's take our lungs chest wall, diaphragm, and negative intrapleural space, keeping our lungs inflated. Everything's normal. And now let's poke a hole into the chest wall through the intrapleural space. What does that do to the intrapleural pressure? It becomes zero. Why? Because now the atmospheric pressure outside the chest is connected to the space inside the thorax, which is zero. Now that the intrapleural space isn't negative anymore, what happens to the lung? It's not getting pulled out anymore and it collapses. That, my friends, is a pneumothorax. Does that make sense? What you would see is the lung collapsed on a chest x-ray. What does that look like? Basically a black area being really small on one side, like this. What's a tension pneumothorax and how is it different? So remember where we poked a hole the next time you have chicken at home and are about to cook it, I know this is kind of crude, but take a knife and stab it through the skin. You notice how there's a little flap of skin? The same thing happens when the ch human chest gets pierced, like a stab wound. There's a flap. Well, what does that do? It kind of acts like a one-way valve. It sucks air into the chest cavity, but doesn't let it out. Just visualize that. Air going in, but not coming out, little by little. That creates more and more pressure inside this intrapleural space. What does that do to the lungs? It really pushes them, and it can accumulate so much air and pressure in this cavity that it pushes the structure next to the lungs, which is the heart. Like this. If it pushes the heart, what would that do to your diastolic ability? In other words, your filling ability with something pushing on it. Meaning, what would that do to your preload? It would decrease, right? So what do you think would happen to someone's blood pressure with this tension pneumothorax? It would decrease. That's information they love giving you in the vignette. They'll show someone hypotensive, then they'll show you a chest x-ray with the cardiac silhouette you know, being shifted to one side, a big lung on one side, and then ask you some question about it. 